dreams just random images fired from an unconscious brain during sleep? Or something much more important, like life-saving inner guidance? How dreams can be healing and early warning tools for disease, financial crisis, or success. And love is still one of the behavioral science's greatest unanswered questions. Hello, I'm your host, author Kat O'Keefe Cannabis. Welcome to Dreaming Healing, where dreams and cutting edge scientific research meet on syndicated Dream Vision 7 radio network. Dreaming Healing is every Tuesday at 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. Eastern with live shows on the first and third evenings at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific when you can call in and ask cat questions about your amazing dreams. Talk on air. Call toll-free 833-220-1200. That's 833-220-1200. Come live your dreams out loud with Cat. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Dreaming Healing on Dream Vision 7 Radio Network. I'm your host, Kathleen O'Keefe Cannabis, but hey, everybody calls me Kat, so I hope you will too. Last week's title was A Happy Move, and that was by author and literary agent Deborah Jacobs, who outlined how to make your, your move happy rather than sad. And tonight's show is Dreams and Sleep for Restored Health and Disease Reversal with Dr. Joseph Sugar. That's like sugar with burger. He just told me that. So it's Dr. Joseph Sugar. So Dr. Sugar and I both write articles for Desert Health Magazine right here. Those of you who are in the desert with us, Palm Springs, all the way out to Indian Wells. Um, it's the Valley's leading resource for health and wellness. And Dr. Sugar writes about health and healing while I write about dreams and healing. So Dr. Sugar wrote a book review about why we sleep. And so I invited him to come on to my show because, you know, it's really difficult to dream if we can't sleep. Yes, you can daydream, but that's usually telling you about a dream you didn't remember. But sleep and dreams are essential to our healing and remissions. And as you know, I'm a three-time breast cancer survivor. The doctor said, to, you know, congratulations, you're in remission. And I said, no, I'm healed. But, you know, remission, healed, tomatoes, tomatoes, basically the same thing. So how important is it for a healthy life? Well, Dr. Joseph Sugar will tell us tonight. And according to uh, current research and testimonials from patients, including myself, you can reverse most of your chronic diseases and stop most of your medications. At one point, I was on eight medications. I am on zero. Yes, you can do it. If you've got a doctor who will work with you and can work with you, it's amazing the things you can accomplish on getting yourself well and not needing to take a suitcase with you every time you travel just for your meds. So tonight, our guest, Dr. Joseph Sugar, is going to explain how to do this and share the latest in anti-aging strategies so that your healthy lifespan may actually reach the boundaries of what is possible. But first, we're going to do our meditation. So those of you who are new to my show, just kind of sit back in your chair, get really comfortable, relax. You've probably been working hard all day, you know, taking care of your family, taking care of your job, cleaning up the kitchen, maybe after dinner. Sit back now and relax and let me help you fill yourself with healing energy. Okay? Sit back, relax. Close your eyes. If you're listening to us on your car radio, you don't need to close your eyes. It'll still work. Keep your eyes open. Everything will be good. All right. So I want you to, the rest of you, close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Fill your lungs. Hold it. Imagine any negativity from during the day getting in that breath of life. Blow it out all the way out, empty your lungs, into a purple flame of St. Germain. 
and see that negative energy being converted into beautiful golden light that goes up through the clouds, up through the stars, to the top of our universe, makes a U-turn and comes right back down into our seventh chakra at the speed of thought. Feel it filling your whole body, tingling all the way down to your toes. Another deep breath in. Imagine anything negative that anybody said to you this week, getting into that breath of life, blow it out right into the purple flame of St. Germain. See it converted into beautiful golden light up through the clouds, the stars, the universe, making that U-turn and at the speed of thought, coming right into your seventh chakra, filling you with healing energy. One more time, deep breath in, really deep. Fill up those lungs. Imagine anything from your childhood you've been carrying around that was negative in that breath of light. You don't need it anymore. Out into the purple flame of St. Germain, up to the top of the universe. You turn golden light coming down into your seventh chakra and filling up your whole body. Just feel the warmth, feel the comfort. Feel the power. Now I want you to imagine holding in your hand anything that is powerfully loving to you. It's your power gift. Imagine holding your favorite rock, flower, uh, stone, jewelry, anything that was given to you as love. That is your power gift. Hold it and swing it around your body. And we are creating a mirrored bubble of protection. Only that which is of the highest and best and is brought into that power bubble by our spirit guides and guardian angels may enter. Everything else is reflected back from whence it came. We wish it so and therefore it is. When you're ready, slowly open your eyes and join us. I'm going to tell you a little bit about our guest because he's amazing. And for those of you who are only listening to this show right now and you want to watch us, this is a live video podcast. You can go to my website by Googling Cat, the Queen of Dreams. It'll take you right to my website and you will see these black buttons across the top. And one of them will say video podcast, dreaming healing, click it. It will take you right to my website on dream vision seven radio network. And you'll see a little camera on there with an antenna right next to Dr. Joseph Sugar's poster that will also have all of his bio, the whole long bio on there. Click that little TV set and you can watch us live. So our guest tonight, Dr. Joseph E. Sugar, is the founder and medical director of Restore Health Disease Reversal. He's a core faculty member with the Eisenhower Health Family Medicine Residency Program a clinical professor of family medicine at USC, UC Riverside, and Loma Linda. He's the author of Lean and Fit, A Doctor's Journey to Healthy Nutrition and Greater Wellness. This is the third edition that came out in 2019. He's a graduate of UCLA School of Medicine and received training in family medicine and education in public health at the University of Washington. Dr. Sugar practiced traditional medicine and taught in Davis and San Diego before coming to the desert in 2009 to lead primary care and medical education at Eisenhower Health and has received numerous, and I mean a lot of them, awards, including 
Let me get these all up because there are so many. He is so impressive. Top doctor in San Diego for six consecutive years. And in 1989 was recognized as the National Family Doctor of the Year. In 2011, Dr. Sugar began to study and practice functional medicine and has achieved great success in reducing body weight and restoring health without medications. That's important. He offers primary care services to a limited number of individuals on a concierge basis and is medical director of the anti-aging company, Intervene Immune, and provides anti-aging medicine services. You can learn more about him at www.restorehealth.me. And again, you can go to my, my website on Dream Vision 7 Radio Network. All of his links are live. You can click them and learn all you need to learn about him. So welcome to Dreaming Healing on Dream Vision 7 Radio Network, Dr. Sherger. And gosh, thank you, Kat, for that wonderful introduction. I appreciate that. One of the best I think I've heard. So well done. That, it, you are so amazing. We are so honored to have you here. And this is a live show. So um, a lot of our audience will start sending the producer you met at the beginning questions and comments. And when I can, I will glance over and, and uh, read them on air to you. So your, your credentials are so impressive. So I really want to thank you for taking the time from your busy schedule to talk with this. I understand you just got back from work and your wife brought you dinner and it's sitting right next to you right now. So during the commercials, feel free to eat. I mean, a lot of us do. You talk about disease reversal and eliminating most of our medications. I am such a strong believer in that. As director of the Center for Human Sleep Science, how does sleep help us to do all of that? Well, sleep is one of the vital pillars of good health. I always divide the big pillars, like we're a building of our body held up by four pillars, healthy nutrition, physical activity, stress management, and then, of course, sleep. And sleep is the time that we, we restore and repair our bodies. And it takes good quality sleep in order to do that restore and repair function. And, uh, and so it's vital. When someone is not sleeping well, not getting into good, deep sleep, they're going to be ill. They're going to have high blood pressure. Uh, they will, you know, their immune system is not uh, supported well. Uh, lots of problems occur and taking Ambien or other medications is not an answer because those medicines don't give you natural restorative sleep. So I spend a lot of time helping people learn how to sleep well and naturally uh, and going through a meditation process like you just did is one outstanding way to help a person move into sleep. Oh, thank you. You know, I um, I think I mentioned this before that I am a three-time breast cancer survivor. And when when you're going through your third recurrence <laughs> and you're thinking, am I going to really, really survive this? Getting to sleep can be difficult. And, and I had so many medications. I had sleep medication. I had medication to help me wake up. I had medication for this. I had medication for that. Um, pains to, to, you know, you name it. There, there were so many medications. And I remember thinking, I don't want to take all these medications, especially for sleep. So the med the meditation that we just did together is a med meditation I did every single night until I fell asleep. If I needed to do it four or five times, I did. And I, I remember thinking, you know what, if I don't wake up, tomorrow morning, at least I will have passed over in a state of grace. And I found that I became healthier, stronger, to the point where now I have absolutely no medications whatsoever. And I have been cancer free for almost 25 years. So wow. sleep in itself is a medicine. 
It's an amazing medicine. And that's why I really wanted you on this show with us. And I wanted to tell our, our audience, uh, Dr. Um, Dr. Sugar wrote an article in Desert Health Magazine, and it's called um, Why We Sleep. And he was actually writing a review for another author whose book was Why We Sleep. So I really wanted to have him on to talk about the importance of sleep because many of the people watching this show are either in cancer treatment or they've just survived cancer treatment or um, they are, are taking care of somebody who has cancer. So Dr. Sugar, I, I really admire, what, one of the things I really admired about you is you're willing to your willingness to really, really tell it like it is when I was researching you. You were previously a professor of psychiatry at Harvard, and you kind of butted heads <laughs> with the medical establishment uh, concerning students pulling all-nighters. That that was a concern for you. Can, can you share that with us? Well, Kat, that's the author of Why We Sleep. That's his story, uh, not my story. So my story is different. I was never at Harvard, but okay. but uh, but uh, Matthew Walker, the author of Why We Sleep, fascinating. He's from England, but he he's uh, he's considered the world's top sleep scientist. But he uh, pulls no punches. And when he was at Harvard and he saw the damage that finals week was doing to the students, he went vocal criticizing it. And they actually invited him to leave Harvard because of that. And he runs a sleep institute at UC Berkeley, which is a bit more open-minded and willing to accept uh, these ideas. But uh, he goes into great detail of, you know, we, we're essentially drunk drivers if we don't sleep well, uh, if we have bad sleep. The, the research will tell you that we're comparably impaired and uh, and lots of accidents and you know, injuries and various things, just to name only one of the dimensions of poor sleep, uh, mm -hmm. along with other parts of our health. But uh, it's really a pretty sobering book that is full of practical uh, instructions and information. Mm, yeah, I, I didn't realize that. But I was so busy researching everything. I thought that was you. But um, yeah, actually, I was in a uh, dream research uh, group with Dr. Larry Burke, who uh, was working through Duke University Medical. And he had, he was the chief of radiology. And he, when women came in to get their radiation treatment, he'd ask them, how was your cancer found? And they would answer in my dreams. And he was like, what? And they'd say, yeah, my dreams told me I had the cancer. And then I came to my doctor to get follow-up for that and the pathology reports confirmed the dreams. So our, our sleep is amazing because if we can't sleep, we can't dream. And I was one of the people in his research uh, because my dreams told me I had cancer when the doctors and the tests they relied on said I was healthy. So I had to learn to stand in my power and speak my truth to get them to do a second set of tests to find it all three times. And I'm actually working with a woman now who is, her dreams are telling her she has breast cancer when again, the doctors are telling her that she's healthy and to go home. And she's actually had a doctor show up in her dream to tell her the exact type of breast cancer she has. So she's going back to them this week. So Dr. Sugar, I never really thought of insomnia as a health problem, you know, um, but it's one of the most common health problems and it has many causes and solutions. What are some of the health issues and their causes and solutions that you know of? Well, insomnia affects at least 40% of the adult population. So it's extremely common. And mm -hmm. I always tell a person, you know, you're, you're, not, you're not designed, you gotta let go. Sleep is about letting go. You, you mm -hmm. take whatever problems that you have in your life and you put them away in the closet with your clothes when you go to sleep. So, you know, we have a lot of expressions of like, I'm going to sleep on it tonight and let you know in the morning. 
Well, the answer is not to reflect on a problem all night and let people know in the morning. It's the, you know, you learn the magic of falling asleep and letting go and getting a good night's sleep. And in the morning, you come up with solutions that you didn't think of the night before, maybe during your dreams. I think that's a, a wonderful, uh, uh, you know, uh, solution for that. But, but in reality is if we have a good night's sleep, we're going to, our minds are going to function much, much better. And, uh, and that's the purpose of, of sleeping on a problem, not literally sleep and taking your problems to bed with you. That would be a recipe for a bad night's sleep and, and uh, not good insight. No, no. You know, our sleep, um, it, it, a lot of people have said to me, well, you know, it, we're, ju it, we're just going to sleep. It's just sleep. It's just sleep. It's not that important. And my thought is, if it, if it were not something important, why would we spend almost half of our life doing it? It's like breathing air. We breathe yep. air all the time too. Look at how important it is. And truth be told, I'm not sure that we could survive. I, I think we might actually die if we were not allowed to get any sleep at all. What, do you, what are your feelings about that? Well, that's literally true. You know, one mm -hmm. of the mechanisms of torture is to create an environment where people are not allowed to sleep. And they mm -hmm. do, they will die you know, they'll go crazy before they die. So oh. the body requires sleep. And one uh, type of abuse is to not let people sleep. And unfortunately, that's been part of uh, rituals of various prisoners and, and things that just man's cruelty to other men is to not allow for sleep. Mm -hmm. Gosh, so can you imagine if, if you, you know, you've got some real problems and and you you can't quiet your mind down i in order to fall asleep you know like if if you think that that you've got such bad health issues or financial issues or family issues that you you think you're just not going to survive them using the meditation dream that you just used with me can sometimes get your mind it's like counting sheep except we're we're, we're counting you know we're 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 kind of counting down inside of our mind and, and and actually be able to go to sleep because if you don't you can't get well and if you can't get well chances are your your health is is going to really deteriorate uh we are down to one minute before we have to go to a commercial break dr sugar so uh, when we come back we have some questions coming in right now from Excellent. our audience so uh do you want to tackle those when we come back from our from our uh our short break sounds like a plan cat okay so audience don't go away you're listening to dream vision 7 radio network dreaming healing and uh, we'll be right back What if dreams can diagnose your life? What if we can meet the love of our life in dreams? Join host Cat O'Keefe Cannabis, the number one internationally best-selling author of Dreams That Can Save Your Life, written with Duke University medical doctor Larry Burke. Dreaming Healing is where we'll explore dreams, research, and interpret dreams from you, the caller. Dreaming Healing Shows can be heard every Tuesday at 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. Eastern with live shows on the first and third evenings at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific Time on syndicated Dream Vision 7 Radio Network. Come live your dreams out loud with Cat. Are miracles real? Can you move from mayhem to miracles? 30 prominent authors say yes as they share their high fives and down lows of challenges, abuse, addiction, and love. Experience hope, the magic elixir of miracles, through the personal stories of New York Times best-selling authors James Redfield, Dr. Bernie Siegel, Sister Jenna, Reverend Temple Hayes, and many more. 
If you like bestsellers, chaos to clarity, and crappy to happy, you'll love crying and laughing through Mayhem to Miracles, Sacred Stories of Transformational Hope, available now on Amazon and in bookstores worldwide. Did you know that every word you speak matters? What you say and how you say it can make or break a relationship or shift the outcome of any situation. Are your conversations making a difference? Faith in God, gratitude, authenticity, and giving are Teresa Velarde's heart. It's in this spirit that she's focused on making a difference in the lives she's blessed to touch. Conversations That Make a Difference is now on syndicated Dream Vision 7 radio network every Tuesday at 5 a.m. and 5 p.m. Eastern Time with live call-in shows every first and third Tuesday at 5 p.m. Eastern. world facing annihilation, a miraculous African nun rises to become the first female pope through a web of war, murder, and betrayal. Loved by some, hated by many, she becomes the deadly target of Islamic terrorists and her own cardinals as she introduces a new vision that will either save humanity or accelerate its destruction. Four people must race against a nuclear holocaust to learn her astonishing secret. Pope Annalisa is available at PeterCanova.com, Amazon, and other online booksellers and bookstores worldwide. This is Dream Vision 7 Radio Network, uniting mankind with universal love. Our shows are created from the heart, bringing each listener to a place of divine enlightenment. Breathe, relax, and enjoy. Let life Flow. Welcome back, everyone. I'm your host of Dreaming Healing, Kathleen O'Keefe Cannabis, but my friends all call me Kat, so I hope you will too. If you're just tuning in with us now, we have Dr. Joseph Sugar with us, and we're talking about sleep, healing, and your wellness through sleep. Dr. Sugar works here in the valley. Um, that's that's the Palm Springs area, Palm Desert area, Indian Wells, all the way out to India. And we both write for Desert Health Magazine, which I'll hold up for you. If you're out here, it's in any uh, of the grocery stores, any a lot of the stores you go in, it's free, help yourself. And he writes about health and I write about dreams. My last one was Dragon Dreams and Chinese New Year. So, Dr. Sugar, can you hold up your book for us that you uh, just had your third edition written on? Tell us a little bit about it. What's it called? Lean and Fit, A Doctor's Journey to Healthy Nutrition and Greater Wellness. And it really tells both my story of being a convert to get away from grains and inflammatory foods and the carbohydrates that dominate our culture. And uh, and I my first author was a doctor who's become a friend, Dr. William Davis, the cardiologist uh, who, who wrote the Wheat Belly books, uh, which were multiple. And he was very kind to offer a, a quote for my book after reading it. But I went on from William Davis to uh, David Perlmutter, the neurologist, with a degree in nutrition who wrote Grain Brain and Brain Maker, fabulous science-based books. Uh, Mark Hyman is a, is a family doctor like myself who is credited with turning around the health of Bill Clinton. He got a lot of publicity for that, but then became the, uh, the leader, the chairman of the board of the Institute for Health, for the Institute for Functional Medicine. And that was when I, I went to Austin, Texas in 2015 to do my basic training in functional medicine, best uh, continuing education course I ever attended. Two of our residents went with me, changed their lives, and uh, and clearly shifted my career into, into using uh, realizing that all of our chronic health problems are related to our the mismatch between who we are biologically and what we've done in modern society of, of messing up our foods, messing up our sleep, creating all these kind of problems. And, uh, and the miracle that I find is that the body actually wants to be healthy. You know, we have through evolution, these, these health return reflexes. So if you take away the insult of, that a person is doing 
such as poor sleep, but poor diet, lack of physical activity, uh, consumed by stress, you take away these insults, the body responds by becoming healthy again. And that's how you got off your medicine. You did it through health practices. So I stop more medicines than I ever start. I can still prescribe because I'm a licensed physician, but I, I use food as medicine and other lifestyle factors like sleep as medicine. And it's just wonderful to help people not only be healthier, but to take far fewer medications. Excellent. Yeah. No, you know, you're, you are what you eat. Um, and, and if you're, you're not eating well, you're not going to be well and they're, they're related. Uh, so you do, and that doesn't mean that you can't, if you get yourself healthy and you're not overweight, yes, you can have that cookie. Yes, you can have that piece of candy, you know, every now and then. But that doesn't mean it's going to be your meal. <laughs> There's a difference. And we have to learn that. So are we are, are we ready to take some questions from the audience? Are you ready to take some questions from the audience? I sure am. Okay, good. All right. The first question is, um, doctor, I'm I'm tired, falling asleep in front of the TV. Yet once I go to bed, I find myself overthinking and unable to sleep. Any suggestions to help me sleep? Well, first of all, it's well known and well studied that you don't want to have a television on when you go to sleep. I mean, sometimes people fall asleep in front of a movie or whatever, but that that blue light that comes through the television will interfere with your natural melatonin. Uh, production, which is your natural sleep hormone, and give you restless sleep. So you've got to, you, you know, you got to wear blue light blocking glasses two to three hours before you go to bed if you want to relax your eyes and relax your brain. But you need to turn off that TV. I mean, you can sit up in bed with a very, very faint light and possibly read, read meditations, or read something that is soothing to help you sleep. Uh, don't pull out a, an exciting page turning book like a Grisham novel or something. That'll, that'll get you all worked up. So what you want to do is, is realize that you're, you've worked your way uh, in, into good sleep. And breathing, you know, uh, you know uh, James Nestor, who wrote the wonderful book, Breath on Breathing, says that human beings are the worst breathers in the animal kingdom. And he has evidence to back that up. But, uh, you know, a, a four cycle breathing has become a very easy and common form of meditation. And what that means is you take a very slow, deep breath in through your nose, breathing is best through your nose. You take that slow, deep breath in, then you hold it. And then you slow, deep breath out, and then you pause before the next breath. Now, many people from Andrew Wilde to everybody else seem to have magic numbers like six, five, four, or how many seconds. And you, obviously, you don't time these things. Uh, but you think of them as something over a few seconds. And then you find the practice that works for you. The beauty of breathing like that is you have to focus on the breathing. You can't, it's not just normal breathing in, breathing out. It's the pause and the pause. It's the holding of the breath and the pause that really keeps you focused on that cycle breathing, which usually ends up being only about six breaths a minute, but they're very cleansing type breaths. And, uh, and in general, it's hard to do that more than 10 times without being well asleep. So breathing for those who say, well, I don't have a mantra and I haven't gone to a to a spiritual meditator and that kind of a thing. Focus on a healthy breathing routine that clears your lungs, increases your oxygen saturation and helps relax your mind. Excellent. Yes, absolutely. That breathing. I mean, if you look at a baby, we we you know, we focus on breathing in our lungs. 
But when you go to sleep, you automatically start breathing from your stomach. And I noticed with babies, they don't breathe from their lungs. Their stomach's going up and down, not their chest. And so, yeah. you know, I tell, tell people who say, I can't, I, my family says, Kat, you can fall asleep leaning against a wall. And, it, and fortunately, because I meditate at night before I go to sleep, I know how to go into that realm. And I can. I used to fall asleep on the toilet when I was little. My mom would flush me. So, you know, when when you do the meditations you're talking about, you learn to fall asleep on a dime like that. And you will automatically start breathing correctly from your stomach. So let another question. Um, it says, oh, I love this one. This is hysterical. My husband snores. It wakes me up a lot. Extremely hard to fall asleep unless I get to bed first. I'm not getting enough sleep. Help. Do I divorce him or how do I stop his horrible snoring? <laughs> well, you know, certainly that's not a that's not grounds for divorce, but mm -hmm. it but it and 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 you ought to take a little recording of your husband's breathing and he should get a sleep study go to a nice sleep doctor to find out if his snoring is related to obstructive sleep apnea. And he may be, I'm not a huge fan of those CPAP machines, but sometimes they're very, very helpful to create some positive pressure. There are other ways to deal with sleep apnea. I can usually wipe it out by getting a person to lose all the extra fat they have in their stomach. You know, too much visceral fat it gets in the way of that abdominal breathing, which you pointed out is even more important than our chest breathing. So you 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 need to get lean down and people will lose, you know, I with every patient, I do a, a body composition using the, the Japanese technology developed by Tanita. I have a machine in my office called InBody. And what it does is it looks at your body fat, looks at your muscle, looks at the water in your body, it's able to separate those three things in just two minutes and, and let me know whether or not a person has excess fat, especially visceral fat in the gut and whether they do not have enough muscle. And lack of muscle and too much body fat is incredibly common. And if you can correct those things by having them burn off that body fat, I tell patients every day, you're carrying around a cord of wood in your stomach and it's, it's a lot of stored energy. All that fat is nothing more than stored energy and you need to become a fat burner. You do that by going low carbohydrates because we now know that it's the sugar and the carbs mm -hmm. through the hormone insulin that creates the fat storage. And you, we know from the work of our circadian code, Dr. Sachin Panda at the Salk Institute, that we don't become a fat burner until after about 12 hours of, a, you know, and that sleep is part of that. So you get aware of your body's circadian code. So if you can go on an eight hour eating window, which is quite generous to us as a species, and a, and a 16 hour every day of only water, coffee, or tea, and you sleep during that fasting period, You'll have four hours of good fat burning. Your body will run on your body's excess fat and you can burn that off. And usually then sleep apnea and snoring go away. Interesting. That's very interesting. I'm, I'm one of those people who really only eats um, uh, my meal, my large meal at around three o'clock in the afternoon. That's when I get hungry. I'm not really hungry until then. And then I, I don't really get anything. I get my coffee in the morning. And I've always been an eater like that. Most people say you're supposed to eat three big meals a day. What are your feelings about that? Well, there's no science behind three big meals a day. That's uh, the food industry loves it because when, when you go from three meals a day to two meals a day, you're eating a third less often or less food. But the three meals a day might have worked for farm laborers or longshoremen, people who really burned a lot of calories because of the work they did. But now in our modern, more sedentary life, that's good. That's a recipe for overweight and obesity, which we now know is pervasive. Most of us 
in America and in other developed countries, the majority of us are overweight. It goes up to 70%. We have a higher blood sugar than's healthy, which causes all kinds of problems for our brain and our bodies. So, Mm -hmm. you know, we, we have a culture that has created overweight and obesity that we need to address. And the formula from a nutrition point of view, which is, I want to make a comment about sleep too, is Mm -hmm. to be very low carbohydrate. Carbohydrates are not a necessary food and, uh, and to get your fasting time. But another vital thing that we know for good sleep is you should not eat three hours before you go to bed. So you start your fasting uh, after your your evening meal, which should not be a late evening meal. Don't be one of these, you know, people who sign up for the late dinner on the cruise ship. Always sign up for the early dinner, wherever you're at, on a tour or whatever, because you want to get those three hours before you go to bed with nothing but water. Uh, and uh, you don't want your blood sugar to go up during that time. So uh, and uh, so just. You know, sip water as needed. You want to drink most of your water early in the day so you're not getting up to the bathroom all the time. But uh, you follow good, healthy habits for your brain and your body. And all that leads to good sleep. Mm. So you you actually have a complete sleep routine that includes time release melatonin. You, You were talking about the blue light blocking glasses. And, and then you're talking about a sleep three supplement. Um, I'm gonna have you comment on these two subliminal melatonin tablets, your four square breathing you were talking about. Can you talk a little bit about this routine? We have well, like two sure. minutes before we have to go to break. The um, Nature's Bounty, a, a supplement company has come out with a time release product that I call the foundation. First of all, our pineal glands in our brain become calcified when we're middle-aged, 50 or 60. And that is the hormone that that stimulates sleep. It's one of the reasons seniors have trouble. So we are, we're not designed, I mean, evolution didn't care how long we lived, that only cared about us reproducing. So we need, we need a foundation. The thing that's wonderful about sleep three is it's time release. It has L-theanine, an amino acid that supports sleep. It has four herbs in it, like chamomile and lemongrass. And, and uh, uh, oh, I can't, they're blanking on all four of them, valerian root and mm-hmm. 10 milligrams of melatonin in a time release form. Now, some people, especially women, will say, well, I can't take melatonin. I end up with vivid dreams. I'm not sure vivid dreams is a problem and yeah, where they're coming no, from. Yeah. And, and no one's really done the study to show whether or not you adapt to that over time. But that that kind of scares some people. But melatonin is now looked at as an anti-aging hormone. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, it's now uh, it's an antioxidant. It's not just a sleep hormone. It has many health benefits. OK, well, we've got to go to a break when we come back. Uh, we're going to find out how to find his book. Okay, don't go away. We'll be right back. What if dreams can diagnose your life? What if we can meet the love of our life in dreams? Join host Cat O'Keefe Cannabis, the number one internationally best-selling author of Dreams That Can Save Your Life, written with Duke University medical doctor Larry Burke. Dreaming Healing is where we'll explore dreams, research, and interpret dreams from you, the caller. Dreaming Healing shows can be heard every Tuesday at 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. Eastern with live shows on the first and third evenings at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific time on syndicated Dream Vision 7 radio network. Come live your dreams out loud with Cat. Why are we here? How can we be happy? Questions asked from millennials to boomers. Crappy to happy. Sacred stories of transformational joy answers them using true stories of grit, grace, and love. 
James Redfield, author of The Celestine Prophecy, wrote in the foreword, This book is a seminar about emerging truths and offers grounded solutions through the art of the comeback. Dr. Bernie Siegel, a contributing author, wrote, Bodies die, but spirits and consciousness survive and recycle. So grab some tissues, open your book, and prepare to cry and laugh till it heals. Crappy to Happy by Reverend Ariel Patricia and Kathleen O'Keefe Cannabis. Available from Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and booksellers worldwide. Darkest hours to brightest moments. Transformation from despair to happiness. And chaos to clarity. Real people, real pain, real healing. Life-threatening illness, death, Abusive relationships, divorce, and overcoming addiction are challenges these men and women faced head on. See how they emerged stronger and happier. Buy the new book, Chaos to Clarity, Sacred Stories of Transformational Change by Reverend Patricia Caginello and Kathleen O'Keefe Cannabis. Available on sacredstoriespublishing.com and worldwide through Amazon and other retailers. This is Dream Vision 7 Radio Network, uniting mankind with universal love. Our shows are created from the heart, bringing each listener to a place of divine enlightenment. Breathe, relax, and enjoy. Let life flow. Welcome back to the last section of our show tonight, everybody. It's been an amazing show. We're so glad that Dr. Joseph Sugar could join us. Um, I want to thank you, Dr. Sugar, for, for being our guest. I so admire that you not only talk the talk, but you do walk your walk. And, and the live advice and service that you've given us and others uh, has been so wonderful for our, our listening group. We, we have five more questions for you. Unfortunately, we're not going to have time to get to them, but I'd really love to have you share with us how we can get in touch with you, get your book now, the one that you, you just showed us, and tell us about the book that you have coming out in a few months. Great, Kat. Uh, I have an office in Indian Wells. It is called uh, Restore Health Disease Reversal. RestoreHealth.me is the website, and our telephone number is 760-898-9663. I have a lot of remote patients that I take care of by video. I have one patient who lives in the Cayman Islands. I have patients in Naples, Florida, and Cincinnati, and lots of places through the years where I've been able to offer help, along with patients who live in the Coachella Valley. So. You know, we, we have with our new telemedicine, the ability to take care of people wherever they're at. So I welcome people to join me. Uh, my book, Lean and Fit, I, I think I finally got it right in the third edition. And uh, it's it's self-published on Amazon because I learned uh, but prior what pressures and things publishers do to authors, along with not paying them very well unless you're uh, world famous. So uh, I self-published it through a company, an Amazon subsidiary called Create Space. So if you just go to Amazon and, and look in my last name, Sugar, S-C-H-E-R-G-E-R, -E and put in the book Lean and Fit, uh, the book will come right up. It is uh, senior friendly. It's, it's large print, double spaced, there's, there's just 97 pages of text. It's not long-winded. And then I go into my resources, which are the 52 healthiest foods you can eat in different categories. Uh, there are uh, guide, uh, gu guiding comments about what to do at different meals, what to order to stay healthy. And then um, a person here in the desert by the name of Barbara Rogers, one of my first patients, who's got a fabulous cookbook. It's called a no-grainer cookbook, mm -hmm. uh, but she mm -hmm. offered some recipes in here. Mm -hmm. I also have a, a recommended reading, all the authors that really helped me, because I, I don't claim to be an original. I have synthesized the work of many others to create my plan. Now, the, because this was 2019, and a lot of the articles are some of the articles from Desert Health, I now have collected more 
And I, the next book will be called Restore Health Disease Reversal. It's already done in, in draft and in proof, and uh, it should be coming out later this year. So Restore Health Disease Reversal, it'll be about the same size. It'll have a similar look and uh, will be, again, published on Amazon. Great. Well, you know, when you get that second book published, uh, I'd love to have you back on the show to talk about that and share it with our audience. So uh, thank you again for being on the show with us tonight, Dr. Joseph Sugar. You you have been a joy to interview. Um, so as you know, to kind of sum up our show tonight, everybody, we are natural healing machines and our sleep and dreams are an important part of our healing Dreams are a way of subconsciously fixing ourselves and as a way of speaking to ourselves. It's a bit of that, hey, physician within, heal thyself. So our dream tip for today just came in. It says, a uh, question for the queen of dreams or the dream queen. I'm having lots of nightmares lately. Usually I'm dying. And sometimes I'm held in a small prison. These nightmares are new to me. Um, I'm, am I being warned or is there something in my life causing this? The only thing different with medication is I've been taking allergy pills as my sinuses have been running and my eyes itchy. Well, welcome to spring, dreamer. You know, we all have, you probably saw me scratching my eye a minute ago because everywhere outdoors it's blooming and I've got the windows open and it's worth that itchy eye to just smell those wonderful smells. But my question to you would be this. Sometimes taking those medications can cause us to have dreams or nightmares, but I don't believe in nightmares. I believe everything we dream is important to us because our lives reflect in our dreams. Our dreams are a microcosm of our waking world. So my question to you, dreamer, is what's going on in your life right now that makes you feel like you're a prisoner? And it's killing the life you once had. I, I don't think that you're really dying. I think that a dream you had about the life you wanted may be dying because your emotions are being imprisoned. Oh, that must have been right. The light just went on. Turn my light back on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so, there we go. Yeah. So funny. And so for our dream, our writing tip tonight, for those of you who are writers, I want you to join me um, on, uh, first of all, um, I wanted you to know that we have found our screenwriting instructor for the On Spirit at Sea Dreamy Writers Conference Cruise to learn how to organize your writing and walk off the cruise ship. Are you ready for this? As a published author in an international magazine, I can promise you that, and to be able to actually have a connection with a literary agent. Both of those people, the, the owner of the international magazine said, Kat, anyone you send me from that cruise, I will make a featured contributor in the magazine. And the agent said, Anybody you send me with a query and a book proposal, I promise to look at and critique. I can't believe they did that for me. They're actually doing it for you. So it is the Spirit at Sea Dreamy Writers Conference cruise time again. And the last one we took to Baja, California was such a success. Uh, it went in and out of San Diego. This one is to Alaska, in and out of uh, San Francisco, is it? No, Seattle. This one's going out of Seattle, San Francisco in 2025 in August to Alaska. You only want to go to Alaska in August, guys. You definitely don't want to go in the winter. And all of the information is on my website, KathleenO'KeefeCannabis.com or just Google the queen of dreams. And uh, you want to make sure we're, we're actually um, booking it now because 
the 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 cruise to Alaska books a year in advance. So even though that Alaskan cruise is a year and a half out from now, within the next six months, it's going to be booked, and that's going to be it. Um, and and the prices because it's the early bird are phenomenal, like twelve hundred dollars round trip. You can't beat that. And it's on Holland America. So it's going to be a great cruise. Then we have the second one that's going to Amsterdam. That's going in October of 2025, October 11th through the 26th for under $1,500. And we're going to be doing the Dreamy Writers Conference cruise again on the Amsterdam cruise. So again, you know, um, we're going to be teaching... Uh, a most of the instructors are coming from the Southwest Writers Group. They are professors. They have taught at universities. The one who is going to be screen doing the screenwriting has won universal international awards for the screenwriting. Um, we have someone who is going to be uh, teaching poetry. I'm going to be teaching you how to write a book proposal, how to organize your book to get it written, how to write a query letter for radio shows, for agents, and you're going to walk off that ship, a published author. So again, go to my website, KathleenO'KeefeCannabis.com or Google Cat, the Queen of Dreams. So um, we have two minutes left. Dr. Uh, Scherger, do you have anything left that you'd like to talk about? Well, if there's a pressing question that you see came through, I'd be happy to respond. Okay, here it is. Let me see, where is that? Okay, here's here it is. It says, I use a fan to sleep. Without it, I'm awake all night. <laughs> My husband complains, but I need it. He says I'm nuts. I believe it's a good thing. What do you think, Doc? <laughs> well, it sounds like a type of white noise. You know, there there are things, there are a lot of apps and various things people listen to that really help them sleep, whether they depend on it or not, is more psychological than physical. But if a fan works in the background, uh, it helps with sleep. But again, if you've got a sleep partner, like a spouse, uh, who it's a problem with, well, then uh, you've got to work that out. But there's nothing wrong with sleeping to a fan. Mm -hmm. I, I sleep to a fan. And and that that's it for the end of our show. I Again, thank you so much for being on our show with us tonight. Um, I really look forward to you coming back and telling us about your new book. Well, thank you, Kat. It's been an honor and a privilege to be on your show. Thank you. Remember, everybody out there and in, in, uh, watching the show, everybody dreams. But some dreams save lives. Good night, everybody. Thank you for joining us this evening. And a big thanks to our producer. Tune in next time to Dreaming Healing for more cutting-edge research, live dream interpretations, and stories with radio host and award-winning author, Cat O'Keefe Cannabis. Listen every Tuesday at 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. Eastern Time with call-in live shows on the first and third evenings at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific Time on syndicated Dream Vision 7 Radio Network. Remember, everyone dreams, but some dreams save lives. Live your dreams. Find more about Cat at KathleenO'KeefeCannabis.com. That's Kathleen with a K. O-K-E-E-F-E-K-A-N-A-V-O-S or The Queen of Dreams on Google Search. This is Dream Vision 7 Radio Network, uniting mankind with universal love. Our shows are created from the heart, bringing each listener to a place of divine enlightenment. Breathe.